A 32-year-old woman in Wajia County is fighting for her life after she was allegedly stabbed several times by her husband. According to police in Wajia, Fatuma Ibrahim, a mother of four, was stabbed following a domestic quarrel with her husband who has been arrested. Following the incident, Amref dispatched a plane to airlift the woman who was admitted to the Wajia District Hospital for emergency treatment after the 2 a.m. incident. Uh, we received these patients uh, last night at uh, around 2 p.m., 2 a.m., and uh, with a deep stab wounds on the facial bones, uh, which is penetrating on both uh, deep to the sinus bone, uh, with other cuts also on the thigh and, in, and above the knee. And uh, we took the patient to theater and we started uh, arresting the bleeding and uh, we could not attempt to remove the, the, the stab wound just because of the, the situation of the patient and where the, the stab wound is located. Uh, basically the patient is a bit stable, vital trans are very stable, we have transfusia and she's a bit stable and we're now referring to KNH for further management and uh, maxillofacial surgeon review. Uh, the report we got that is that uh, the patient has been stabbed by her husband. Uh, which has been traced by the police and now the information we got by the police that is in sale and uh, maybe from there the police will take up the issue. Uh, if you could remove, remove the, light, uh, the knife yesterday, uh, because of the, where the knife is located, there was a uh, uh, normal tendency of the bleeding. And once we remove that bleeding, it may temper the, some, some bleeders and uh, it may block the, the respiratory of the patient and the patient may t the life may be compromised where the situation uh, does not uh, guarantee the life savings, where there's no ECU, where there's no maxillofacial surgeons, and where there's no ENT surgeons. So that's why we're referring the patient to KNH for further management. Capital FM's Mike Karaoke is accompanying the AMRA Flying Doctors team that is taking the woman to the Kenyatta National Hospital, where she will undergo an operation to remove the knife. We have spoken to Adam Bishar, who saw the woman at the Wajir District Hospital. Amina Abdi for Capital TV.